Yeah, you talked about just wanting to see your guys play with more force uh -huh. on both ends. You think you saw that tonight? You know, I thought we, um, I told him like, I think it was like a three, we were up three in like the second quarter. I said, one, one of us is gonna go on a run um, here in this quarter. Uh, let that be us. Unfortunately, it wasn't. You know, we go into the halftime locker room, I think we're down nine. Or seven, we're down seven. Um, at halftime, we talked about the things we needed to get better at, right? They were getting too many offensive rebounds, right? They were back cutting us, right? We got better at that, and then we started playing faster. Right? We moved the ball to the floor, you know, DB, Dyson, DB, unbelievable, kind of changed the game for us. And then we found a unit in there that kind of pooped, um, and we kind of stuck with them. You know, obviously, there's things that we can improve upon, but I thought that third quarter was a real good kind of indication of how we want to play. You know, we kind of got there finally, and we're going to try to keep him there for the rest of summer league. And what did you think about just the way DB kind of bounced back after that game, one just getting to the paint as much as he did tonight? You know, I told him when he came off the court after that great run he had, I said, listen, when you don't play hard, you're not that good. When you play hard, you're elite. I mean, your speed, your ability to finish at the rim, your ability to make plays for others, it is all born from your effort and your pace. And if you don't play with that, it hurts you. And he did it. And we saw the result. You know, he kind of changed the game for us. It was good. What do you think Dyson's playing at a very high level yeah. right now? How important is that for him to get these five games in, playing 28, 30 minutes yeah. at, you know, with the control of the economy? I don't think there's anything more important for him in his career right now than these minutes. You know what I mean? This confidence that he's getting. And I told him, like, you don't think about any of those threes you're shooting. You shoot them. They all look good. They all had a chance to go in. He didn't air bank any of them, you know. He'll make those. And then once he's once he starts hitting them, it's gonna be a real problem for people. But I thought his real impact was felt on the defensive side. You know, his rebounding, his low man rotations, he got a ton of steals and deflections. That kind of stuff, as we all know, that's kind of what he does. And he did it at a high level tonight. Well, those like the being a point guard, being a table center, getting things and playing the post on that, how do you think he is just I mean from from the interstate? I mean, way better. I mean, he's, he's been way better. He, he's not thinking quite as much. He's being aggressive. I mean, one of the things he was doing early on was he wasn't looking to score. He was looking to make plays for others, you know, and he's got to get downhill. He has to be a scoring threat because that's what opens everything else up. Uh, and he's been doing that. You know, he started doing it in game one. He's been doing it. He did it tonight, obviously. Um, and he's got to continue to do that because that's when all the developing reads that we can throw at him, that's when they come. It's obviously been tough for EJ to gain a rhythm with the minutes restriction. Yeah. Just what's your message been to him? Just to kind of make the most out of those minutes. Like I've been saying this whole time, patience. Just about patience. You know, he's in a position right now where he doesn't get to catch the ball much. You know, and we've talked about that. I've tried, you know, we're going to get him the ball a little bit more. But, you know, getting the rhythm of the, of the game back, you know, getting his confidence back, pushing off that leg defending off that leg, like that kind of stuff, important. And then his conditioning, continuing to improve on that. Like I said, hadn't played a whole lot of 94 yet. Um, this is kind of his first go at it for a long time. But you can see little bursts of how well he can protect the rim, even at his size, his rebounding ability. You know, all that stuff, it's going to continue to come. He just got to be patient with it, just like we're going to be patient with him. How did you see Jordan be effective? when his shot wasn't falling, he was just doing other things. Yeah, I thought he rebounded well. Yeah. I thought he got a couple of big rebounds for us. You know, he's still continuing to run the floor. And even if his shot's not falling, he still creates gravity on the defense. Um, so even when he's just standing there, didn't catch the ball, his man's not coming off of him. Um, you know, his shot's going to fall. Obviously, we can do a better job of getting him open. I think that's something that we got to focus on. Um, and that's, you know, we'll focus on that in our next practice. But, you know, He's still getting his feet wet too. These are new concepts. It's a new phys physicality that he's dealing with. Um, and it's all a process. He was good tonight. He just didn't have his shots fall.